Remember, judo is a sport and there are judo competitions. In this section, we'll explain the basics of competition rules, scoring and referee signals. While you probably won't be participating in tournaments and competitions just yet, it's good to know the basic rules so you can watch and understand others in competitions. Each contestant must wear a different coloured suit, one blue and one white for identification. The competition will take place on a mat with a border like this one and the competitors must stay within the border or they'll earn a penalty point. There is also a referee on the mat with the contestants. Here you can see Sensei Ko dressed in his referee suit. He's going to be demonstrating the hand signals used to referee and score a judo competition. There's also a scoreboard to show the scores, which will look something like this one. One side for the blue contestant and the other for the white. Each side of the scoreboard has the contestant's name, country, points and also a set of penalty lights, which we'll explain in more detail later. There's a match time clock, which is set to two or three minutes for juniors and five minutes for seniors and Olympic competitions. This part shows the weight division. And this section has the 25 second clock with an arrow pointing to one of the contestants and is used to time the length of a hold down. So how do you win a judo match? Well actually you can win it very quickly. You only need one point to win. All you need to do is score an ippon which is one full point and the competition is over. So how can you score an ippon and win? Well there are several ways. By executing a skillful throwing technique which results in your opponent being thrown on their back with considerable force and speed, this is called an ippon. Or by maintaining a hold or pinning your opponent for more than 25 seconds. Or if your opponent gives up. Or if your opponent is disqualified. Or if you earn two half points called Wazari. You can also earn an Ippon for strangle holds or choke holds, but this is not allowed in junior competitions. There is a time limit on a judo match, but sometimes neither contestant will earn an Ippon, so what happens then? Well then we have to look at the scoreboard and the highest score wins. You can see on the scoreboard there are letters above the score numbers I, W, Y. This means Ippon. Wazari and Yuko, and these numbers make up the score. A Wazari point is awarded by the referee if the technique was almost good enough to be an Ippon and is equal to half an Ippon point. If you get two Wazari, then you win the match. A Yuko point is awarded if the technique was almost a Wazari, but no number of Yuko points will equal a Wazari. Basically, Ippon is the highest score and wins the match right away. Wazari is second best and two of these wins the match. The Yuko point is the smallest score and you can get lots of these. Based on what the referee sees, he will signal the points as the contestants grapple and throw each other on the mat. If no one manages to score an Ippon in the time permitted, then the highest score of Wazari and Yuko points wins. Remember, two half points, or two wazari, is the same as an ippon, and the match is over. You can get lots of yuko points, but these will never equal a wazari or ippon. So if someone has a wazari point, this will always beat any number of yuko points. Let's see some scoring examples on the scoreboard and figure out who's winning. OK, you can see blue is the winner here because they have a Wazari which is better than any number of Yuko points the white side has. Here you see white is the winner because they have more Yuko points than the blue. Here you can see blue is the winner because they both have a Wazari point, but blue has one more Yuko point. You see, it's quite easy to follow. There's also a section on the scoreboard with a letter H and three letter S's, these offer penalties. The S stands for Shido, which is for a slight violation of the rules. It's a progressive scale and it works like this. The first Shido penalty light is a warning. A 
a second Shido penalty light will give your opponent a Yuko point. The third Shido penalty light will remove the Yuko and give your opponent a Wazari. The fourth light is the H, meaning Han Soku Maki, which disqualifies you and will end the match, so it's important not to violate the rules. So let's look at the scoreboard again and watch the penalty lights on the blue side this time. First light is a warning. The second light has awarded the white side a Yuko point. The third light has removed the Yuko and given a Wazari point. The last light is the H, which means Han Sokumaki and awards the win the white side. You can get a Han Sokumaki right away if you deliberately hurt your opponent or if you do something which makes you land on your own head, which is very dangerous, and this will end the match. So, Sensei Ko has been waiting patiently for us to explain the scoreboard. Now he's going to demonstrate the hand signals referees use to signal during the match. Are you ready, Sensei Ko? Let's see how it all starts with the Hajimi signal. This means start. The match begins and the time clock starts to run. OK, let's see the signal for Ippon. This signal will end the match if someone is thrown on their back with a full force or they're pinned or held down for more than 25 seconds. Now let's see Wazari. Remember, this is when the throw is good but with not enough power for an Ippon or if a hold is more than 20 seconds but less than 25. Let's now look at Yuko. Remember, this is when the throw is partially successful, like a throw with not enough speed or force, or if someone is pinned or held under control for only 15 to 20 seconds. Now let's see Osakomi. This signals the time has started for the hold or pinning action. Now you must try and maintain this hold for 25 seconds to win. Depending how long the hold is, you will get either an Ippon, Wazari or Yuko point. Now let's see Tokita. This signals when the Osukomi is broken and depending on how long the hold was for, a Wazari or a Yuko point will be awarded. Now let's see Mate. This means stop and signals the match is paused temporarily and the time clock stops. These are the main signals, but there are some others which we will show you now. Let's see a non-combative Shido penalty. This is when one opponent is being deliberately non-combative or not trying hard enough to fight. This slows the competition down and the referee will signal a penalty if he sees this. Now let's see a danger zone Shido penalty. This is when one contestant goes into the coloured band on the outside of the mat. Now let's see the signal for adjust judogi. If your judogi or judo suit is loose or open or the belt gets untied, then the referee uses this signal to pause the match so it can be adjusted. Now let's see catchy, which means winner. If the match time runs out and there is no Ippon, then the referee uses this signal to show the winner based on the Wazari and Yuko points. The next time you visit a tournament or watch a judo competition on television, you'll understand the referee signals and scoreboard. Thank you, Sensei Ko.